Hey everyone, it's Florin Nastasi. I'm back with another video today. My last video was uh, kind of like a little quick tour around Charlottesville, Virginia. And if uh, anybody is curious, that is my hometown. So I decided to do another video today. I'm going on my uh, two hour walk that I try to accomplish uh, every day or every other day. And I'm on my trail that I usually hit. And I decided it would be kind of fun to just do a quick walk around tour of the town, uh, hit some of the spots where I usually walk and show you all some of the sights to see if you uh, come to the city of Charlottesville. And uh, if you all enjoy this video, please make sure to give it a like. It definitely helps the uh, algorithm on YouTube. And uh, I will show you all some things that I think you should definitely uh, put on your list if you decide to come visit Charlottesville. All right, guys, enjoy. It's a windy day here in Charlottesville today. The weather is really nice though, so usually it's so freaking hot. I get asked a lot, what exactly is Charlottesville known for? So Charlottesville is actually home to the University of Virginia. It was actually, the university itself was actually founded by America's third U.S. President Thomas Jefferson, which I will show you that university in this video. And Charlottesville has also unfortunately been in the news. Um, Charlottesville was home to the 2017 Unite the Rally uh, attacks, and uh, unfortunately there was a lot of other political issues that occurred over the years here. So Charlottesville has definitely been in the news. So I'm hoping with this video I will show you all some some of the good things about the city and uh, some things you should definitely put on your list uh, to check out if you come visit. This is a really good place for a cup of coffee if you're visiting Charlottesville for a weekend. It's the cafe at the Oakhurst Inn. Really good coffee. So if you're looking for an Airbnb or hotel in the city of Charlottesville, you'll, you will have plenty of options, but one place I definitely suggest looking into is the Oakhurst Inn. It's a nice little bed and breakfast. It's close to the University of Virginia. And they have a bunch of nice little, little single family homes you can rent out as well. close to the main bus lines. And they have a little cafe that's attached. And they also have a little bar. And it is super convenient to the hospital because right where I am now, you're gonna be taking a right on Jefferson Park Avenue. And this road will take you to the main hospital. So we are on Jefferson Park Avenue. This is the main road that leads to uh, all the main spots of uh, Charlottesville. The university, the downtown mall, the hospital, the corner, and I'll cover all of those. Now we are close to entering the hospital. So 
So now we are on the official UVA Health Campus. This is home to the emergency room, the main hospital, and also the brand new cancer center. This is a huge campus. If you're parking here, I strongly suggest parking in the Lee Street parking garage. Uh, parking is free, you just have to get a pass. The uh, emergency room just underwent a new $300 million renovation and they added hundreds of new beds. And the hospital is very bus friendly. There's two main bus, actually three main bus systems that run through the city. There's UVA Transit, which caters to all the UVA students, staff, and faculty. There's CAT, which is the Charlottesville area transportation. And there's Jaunt, which is, I think it's for 50 and up. So there's a lot of options for transportation if you don't have a vehicle in the city. There's, of course, Uber and Lyft. A lot of ride share apps. They have those Lime scooters. I think it's Bird now, it's not Lime. But anywho, this is the main part of the hospital. It really is pretty. And this, last but not least, is the brand new emergency room. It is huge, huge. And as I mentioned before, if you have to come park to visit somebody in the hospital, Lee Street Parking Garage, directly across from the emergency room. You cannot miss it, folks. So once you get past the main campus of UVA Hospital, UVA Health, you will now enter West Main Street. And this is the street that leads you directly either downtown, which is where I'm heading, or to the university. And West Main Street has a lot of different things going on. You have a lot of different student housing complexes, luxury apartments, Benny's Pizza, which go there before you go to Pizza Hut. Architecture and art. A lot of hotels. We have the main hotels downtown on the mall, or the Hampton Inn and Suites. Marriott, a lot of Airbnbs, and I'm just heading over here for one minute because it's a nice little view. This is actually a brewery, Skipping Rock. A lot of breweries, and that's the thing, if you come to Charlottesville, Virginia, which is Albemarle County, you are pretty much on the California version of a uh, the west coast, the east coast. I mean, all of wine country is over here too. Some of the best wines in the world. And there's, I forgot how many vineyards there are now in Virginia. I mean, there's, I think over 400. And I mean, these are top of the line, you know, really high quality uh, grapes that are being uh, produced, so definitely I don't have a video on the vineyards yet. Uh, I, I think I will plan for one because that would be really cool to show you the different vineyards that are in the city. So when you continue down West Main Street, you will also find the Amtrak station. Yes, Charlottesville has an Amtrak station. So that is super convenient if you're coming in from DC, Richmond, up north, out west, wherever you are coming from. It's a small station though, so parking, uh, it is pretty limited. However, if you are coming into Charlottesville, it is very easy to find your ride.
Once you get down West Main Street and you see the Lewis and Clark statue, and you're at the corner of Ridge and West Main Street, you are almost the downtown mall. And another little tip, when you're walking West Main Street down to the mall, once you pass the U.S. Courthouse, you keep on walking straight. And depending on when you visit the city, you will see this huge multi-use residential business building that's being constructed. And if it has not been completed yet, by the time you have visited, you're going to take a sharp left down in front of the green walls. That's the thing about the city of Charlottesville. Uh, if you like to walk, <laughs> you will get your steps in. I mean, everything here, like I said, is very walkable. Uh, and you can drive, but if you want to get your exercise, they have such a great setup for walking and it's a lot of beautiful sights to see, so why not? So that's all I have to say about that. And I also should add, if you do decide to drive around the city, uh, parking is not the best. Um, there's a lot of garages, but you will pay uh, pretty dearly unless you go to the downtown mall, park at the Water Street or Market Street parking garages. It costs, I think, $2 an hour for the after the first hour. One hour is free, and then after the first hour, it's $2. Um, but, pro tip, if you park in the garages on the weekends, and that's the Market Street or the Water Street garage, on the weekends, it is completely free. So, write that down. And here's the mall. This is the Violet Crown, one of the theaters. And the downtown mall is really known for the Paramount Theater. They host live shows and performances. some of the best ice cream. So my favorite restaurant on the downtown mall in Charlottesville would have to probably be between uh, Taste of India 
and uh, this really good sushi restaurant uh, called Ten. Uh, they have really good nigiri, uh, sashimi, it's so fresh, and uh, for Taste of India, they have some of the best chai I, I've ever had, at least in the state of Virginia. So, there's so many restaurants down on the mall, and if you like ice cream, make sure you please do not miss Chaps. Don't go to Kelwin's, don't go to that, it's garbage. Go to Chaps, trust me. So if you remember earlier, I was talking about the three bus systems throughout the city of Charlottesville. So CAT, the city's Charlottesville area transportation, their main bus station is here downtown. So you can catch the bus anywhere throughout the city where they have designated stops, but this is where their main bus line is downtown. But this right here is the Sprint Amphitheater. And you know, pre-COVID, this was used for summer concerts and big events that the city would hold. But now, lately, it's just been used as a nice little umbrella <laughs> for the past year, almost year and a half. So hopefully once COVID is over, they'll be able to utilize this again. So we will see. Just as a reminder, if you come to the downtown mall, you can park on the street, but I suggest, strongly suggest you park either in the Water Street parking garage or the Market Street garage. And both of them provide free parking for the first hour, and it's $2 an hour afterwards. And on the weekends, it's completely free. So the best time, and uh, I'm sorry for all that construction noise in the background, the best time to visit Charlottesville, in my opinion, is going to be around the middle of May uh, up until August because that is when the students are out of town. So once you're done with all of the fun adventures on the downtown mall, you literally just make a U-turn and head right back up West Main Street and that will take you to the Central Grounds at the University of Virginia. And one of my favorite restaurants in Charlottesville is Wahiro's. Definitely butchered that, but they have some amazing Cuban food. I mean, really, really good food. So make sure you give them a try next time you visit Charlottesville. So once you have hiked the long path past West Main Street back towards the University of Virginia, you will be entering the very popular student area called The Corner. The Corner has a wide variety of restaurants, shops, and is home to the central grounds of the University of Virginia. And keep in mind, if you come to the corner, it's mainly student bars. I mean, there are some good restaurants down here, but more times than not, there's gonna mainly be students around. Unless, like, you follow my directions, <laughs> make sure to come between the months of May uh, to August, but it's still gonna be a lot of students regardless. It's closed right now, but if you don't do anything else in Charlottesville, do yourself a favor and get a bagel from Bodo's. It's probably the closest thing to a New York water bagel you're going to get in the South.
And now, once you pass the corner, you are going to be entering the main grounds at the university. And now we are officially on the grounds of the University of Virginia. I have to say it's a very, very pretty campus, but <laughs> if you're walking around town, you better not get caught calling it a campus because the students here are very proud to go here, which they should. It's one of the best public colleges in the state of Virginia, but they call it grounds and they will make sure you know it is called grounds. So this is the famous University of Virginia. This is the main rotunda on grounds. And this is the famous Thomas Jefferson statue that sits right in front. Usually this place is packed with uh, grad students taking pictures because gradu graduation is here at the university the next two weekends. So I guess because of COVID, there's not so many people out here, which is really weird and not normal to see. But I must say, they always keep the grounds looking really pretty here. And that church back there, um, I forgot the name of it, but it's a non-denominational church. So all students are allowed to use it and utilize it for however they see fit. We got some students over there taking some pictures. So this is the other side of the rotunda, and uh, now you can see uh, students that are taking graduation pictures and whatnot. So yeah, this is the main grounds. This is called the Academic Village. When Thomas Jefferson uh, built the university, his whole goal in mind when constructing this was so professors and students could live essentially together on the same campus and uh, has something to do with lifelong learning or something like that. And yeah, so these extra rooms are uh, dorm rooms, but they are only given to students that show very high academic achievements uh, through the university or through the community. So this is and actually, so this rotunda building, it's a world uh, UNESCO heritage uh, site. Um, and it's actually, I think, the only public university in uh, the United States that made it on the list. So that's really, uh, really cool. Well, folks, that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video and adventure. If you liked the video, please give it a like. It really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. And if there's anything about Charlottesville I didn't cover that you would like me to, um, leave a comment down below and I will see if I can touch on it next time. And I'm thinking about writing a blog about Charlottesville and a little uh, travel guide for the city. So with that being said, thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.